Hey, I uh, hope everyone's doing well. Um, a thing that's come up a lot is loving money and the law of attraction around this concept. Um, the dilemma that I get, the dilemma that I get with it is more of this objectifying of wealth. There are lots of people that will say things like, um, don't think about the money and the money will come, or uh, not to get attached to money and the money will come. But the problem is you're connecting your well-being to a money that is built from debt, that its whole structure is this competition of, of creating against other people. That's the ultimate end game. And, you know, we're, we're getting uh, subsumed by the lack of money and making it a religion. How many books are sold with this concept only demonstrates the disempowerment, not of you, but of the structure that we're in. We're doing the best we can with the structure that we have. If we really want change and empowered wealth, then we change the framework, not, oh, I have to get something against other people. A big thing is is that money is a exchange of energy. But this is only looking at it from the top surface. The, I mean, if I'm only looking at the coffee I buy or whatever I sell to someone else, it's easy to assume that it's just a neutral exchange. Uh, but it's not because behind it is a bank that created the currency out of debt in the first place. Then I come across uh, another book where, where it's, it's said that, oh, money isn't neutral because you can do good things with it and you can do bad things with it. But the point is that we wouldn't be in this, um, these cycles, cycling structures of economic downturns if, um, there was an inherent direction that money goes, and that is always that someone will shaft somebody else, and, and we get told about frauds and scams and everything. We want to think that that's a minority, but the thing is, it's, hap it's happening more and more every time we reach points of desperation. And that leads to the idea that wealth is possessions of incredibly luxurious goods and so on and so forth. That isn't wealth. That's being owned by something. And in our current model, in usury in general, there's a lot less chance of reaching such luxu luxury, if you want to call it that, uh, compared to a majority of the population. I learned that 99% of people don't uh, save $100,000 in their lifetime, which is pretty extraordinary. And yet, we're looking at things about how to be in the millions, in the billions. But look at the things that these people make. And while some are worthwhile, there are a lot more scams than the people making something. And then we get into the financial system, which is speculating on who's doing good and who's doing bad. And this total volume of currency that's out there can buy a thousand times more of what actually people make to be bought. The zeros mean nothing. And in a world where we have to be as sustainable as possible, it doesn't help looking at wealth through objects. Loving money like an object is missing the point. Trying to will money into your life is totally missing the point. 
the people who are making money are the ones selling you the health, self health, self help books that um, want to help you, but they miss the point. Nothing wrong with helping yourself, but just understand the framework that they are offering you. Don't be a disciple. Know how, know what you can change, not just for yourself, but for others. When people say, if you want to change yourself, change the world, change yourself, that's still half the battle. Because you need to be in an environment that empowers you to do it more. So, have a think about those things. Think about what money is. Only when a currency is neutral, it's when there's no debt behind it, when there's no cost behind it at all. And that's what Buxby's about. It doesn't take tax, it doesn't, new, doesn't have a cost, no fees, no interest. It is simply a neutral exchange mechanism. And you are the bank as much as everyone else that uses it. That's when a currency is neutral. That's when exchange of energy is neutral. It's got nothing to do with um, speculating on people doing good or bad with usury currency. Usury currency is bad by default. 